guys, Pat Shank here. Today I wanted to talk a little about atmospheric refraction. By now many of you have seen countless examples of flat earthers making long distance observations that would be impossible on the globe. Globeheads will try to debunk these observations using atmospheric refraction as an excuse. And what you're seeing here is a mirage. Another good example is a Selenellian which is a lunar eclipse where both the sun and moon are above the horizon. This would be impossible on a globe, but again, globe heads use atmospheric refraction as an excuse. So it seems to me that the entire globe model hangs on the fact that the atmosphere causes distant objects to appear higher. So let's take a closer look at the atmosphere. According to the globe model, the atmosphere is a simple pressure gradient, and the pressure is what affects the density of the air molecules. We know that light bends towards the thicker medium, and we can demonstrate this using sugar and water in a fish tank. So their excuse makes sense. The light bends down, causing the object to appear higher. But of course, there's a deception here. Pressure is not the only factor. Temperatures also affect the density of the atmosphere, which in turn would affect refraction. We know this because a glass of hot water is less dense than a glass of cold water. So how is the atmosphere a simple density gradient when temperatures look like this? If you factor in both the pressure and temperatures near the surface of the earth, which is where we live, then refraction would work completely opposite and would support the flat earth model. Can you tell us if it's round or if it's flat? <laughs> it's flat. The world is flat. The world is flat. The earth 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 is still flat. The earth is flat. The world is flat. The earth is flat. The world is flat. Do you understand what I'm saying?
so you can prove that the world is flat and sleep better tonight. Am I right? <laughs>